More than ever before in recent years, misinformation and news stories have been aimed to manipulate voters and spread confusion and even depress turnout. Cameron Hickey, who is a program director for Algorithmic Transparency at National Conference on Citizenship, said that this kind of viral misinformation is both contagious and dangerous. This kind of content does not have to be false to be a problem. It can include information that provokes fear and manipulation, conspiracies, missing content, pseudoscience, hate, and dog whistles, faulty logic, and old information that is no longer relevant. In terms of the election, theories like Hugh Annan, violence if the election doesn't go a certain way, ideological hyperbole, voting access, ballot risks, fear-mongering are highly problematic and misleading. Hickey added that we have a shared responsibility to monitor misleading information. Report it to junkiepedia.org slash tips slash misinfo and educate yourself and others. Jacqueline Mason, who is a senior investigative researcher at First Draft, talked about disinformation within the Black and Latin communities. According to a case study done by First Draft, states like North Carolina, Texas, and Georgia currently have an alarming number of African-American voters that are being rejected, almost twice the number as other races. Voter fraud, distress about USPS, and voting by mail are all part of the disinformation being spread about voting in this election to create confusion and suppressing votes. The fear of voter fraud causes especially members of the Black community to vote in person, risking their health and causing long lines, another form of voter suppression. This type of disinformation goes beyond the election to the BLM movement, police brutality, and COVID-19. Jacobo Licona, who is the disinformation research lead at Equus Labs, spoke about Latinx and other community of color and disinformation within them. A few reasons for that is that the diverse cultural nuances that create opportunities for false information, data and information voids that can be exploited, false narratives, external foreign interference, and messaging platforms that can spread disinformation. Through social media, this kind of information is spread fast with coordinated and repeated sharing and cherry-picked instances and examples and sometimes creating violent and racial tensions and division between communities of color. This message has been brought to you by Ethnic Media Services.